Hi, I'm Sarah Compton Bishop. I'm chair of the board of NHS Highland. Earlier today, we had our full public board meeting. So we do this every other month and we bring the whole board together um, to have a meeting where we look at the performance of the board, but we also look forward into the future as well. It's a public meeting, so members of the public and the press can join. And we also record it so it goes on our website and people can watch it back later on if they so wish. Um, it's probably helpful just to explain that that is just one of the meetings um, that we hold to be able to fulfil our governance duties. We also, feeding into the board, have um, a number of different committees um, and groups that meet with different members from the board to scrutinise different areas of performance for NHS Highland in more detail. And you get a flavour of that if you watch the meeting um, because all of our committee chairs bring an update and we look at the minutes um, and then we look at a big integrated performance report as well. I wanted to talk today about some of the other things that we talked about um, in our meeting. So as well as scrutinising the performance in quite a lot of detail, we had some other really interesting papers come to the board today. So first up, we had an update from Fiona Davis, who's our chief executive, and she touched on um, a wide range of things. Something that's really important that's happening at the moment is um, a very, very strong focus on reducing what sometimes gets called delayed discharges, which is people who are waiting for care closer to home, in, in a more community sort of homely setting where they may be in hospital for longer than we would want them to be because we can't get other care solutions in place um, quickly enough. So there's a huge focus on this nationally at the moment. We had an update around that from Fiona, but we also had a more detailed paper on it later on from uh, Pam, who is our chief officer for um, the Highland Health and Social Care Partnership. We also had um, our quarter one whistleblowing report. So every quarter we get a report on um, our whistleblowing standards and how we're adhering to those. And that goes through both our staff governance committee and it comes to board as well. So we had a really good conversation about that. And it was quite timely because next week is our speak up week where we seek to raise awareness of all the different ways that people can raise concerns um, throughout the organisation. We had um, a really good plan coming forward. So we've, in partnership with Highland Council, we've got our British Sign Language plan and the board uh, saw that today. And we um, were very lucky to have a, a BSL interpreter come and interpret that whole item. And that was fantastic. And we had a really rich conversation about how we can raise awareness um, about British Sign Language and, and make our services more accessible to people where BSL is, is their first or preferred language. So that was really interesting. And we talked a lot about the enthusiasm within the staff to support that and, and lots of training and other initiatives that are in place. We also, as a board, um, endorsed or signed up to the Highland uh, Charter for Climate, Nature and Health. Um, it's something that kind of really pulls together a lot of work that's already happening throughout the organisation. So we've got loads of initiatives happening throughout the organisation, some kind of big and high profile, like our Green Theatres programme, uh, some really grassroots, you know, stuff that teams are doing themselves. Uh, and this was a great way to kind of really solidify that and bring it together and, and just reaffirm that considering climate, nature and health should be at, at the centre of everything that we do. So we had a really good discussion about that as well. And it was great to be able to um, publicly endorse that in our meeting. So that was just a very quick summary. As I said, it gets recorded. You can watch it back on the website if you like. And I'll update you again after the next meeting. Thanks.